Maina Yakubu. To Yanzu. Where were you kidnapped? JSS. JSS. Chibok. Chibok. To say abanaga bokomo. How long have you been held captive? Anangwaja. Two years. To one sakone wa dzaki ya aikawa. What do you want to tell the government? I want to tell my parents and the federal government that the government should please release Boko Haram members in custody so we too can be released. Military jets have killed some of the other girls. Kabo Yakubu says he was overwhelmed when he recognized his daughter in the video. That girl that is talking in the video is my girl, is my daughter. They are from our place. I'm really happy because since the adopters of those girls, I didn't show my girl in those videos, past videos that have been passed. Kabo isn't the only one who spotted his daughter. This woman points out her child, the girl seated in the front row. The video can be considered proof of life, but now it's up to the Nigerian government to make its move. The video again is a reiteration of the fact that the Chibok girls are somewhere. They are alive. President Buhari says his government is negotiating with Boko Haram following the release of the video, but it's a delicate matter. The militants have vowed to kill the girls if the government attempts to rescue them. Instead, they're offering to release the hostages in exchange for Boko Haram members held in Nigerian prisons. Although the army has recaptured much of the militants' territory in northeastern Nigeria, the group still stages suicide bombings. Boko Haram has also apparently split. ISIL recently named Abu Musab al-Banawi as the group's new leader, but previous head Abu Bakr Shekau insists he is still in charge.